Hey guys, so no. Better. I don't know. Guys, I totaled my car. <sighs> yeah. I don't know how to make my camera make me not look pale. <laughs> like, oh my god, what? Like, girl, I was dying. I was so hungry. <sighs> I'm getting really dramatic right now. Hey guys, so, sorry my room is messy. I think I say this in every single video and I never clean my room, but it's the same day as my last video, the intro I filmed, and I just got home from treatment. So, with that being said, I have not cleaned my room yet because that has not been exactly my priority at the moment. So, no, I have not cleaned my room. Yes, I'm sorry, but no, I'm not sorry enough that I'm going to clean it right now because it's about to get dark outside. And it lightweight is dark outside right now, but it looks still light enough on camera to film. So, I'm going to film this video before it gets dark. Right here, I have my little... Basically, on my desk, I got this thing, and it's like this little pull-out drawer. And this is basically the products that I use it varies with these, but on a daily basis. You know what I mean? Not every single one of these, or I would look ridiculous. But I figured that there's enough products in here. Basically, I just did my makeup, and like I filmed the intro of my last video, and I was like, I want to actually film a video, not just an intro. I don't want to be wearing the t shirt. You know what? BRB, hold up, hold up. Better. Again, sorry about my room. If you're going to comment about it, literally just do not watch the video because I know it's messy. My room has never been messier than this in my whole life. So, but girl, like, I just got back from treatment. I'm really not worried about my room right now. So, anyway, this is, like, the recent beauty products that I've been loving, but I haven't done a video on favorites for the month or anything in a while. So, I feel like, yes, it's the middle of the month, but it's been so long since I've done one of these that I needed to do an updated little thing so I'm gonna try to do this in some like order I'm gonna try to go face eyes lips because that's the order I do my makeup so starting off with moisturizer I love this stuff this is a first aid beauty ultra repair cream and if you watched my what I got for Christmas video I got this it came in like a little set with um a lip thingy and I freaking love this stuff. Seriously, it's so nice, so nice. It was like $18 for this giant container and a lip thing. I don't know what the full size retails for, but I do really like this stuff. And it's so nice because I have oily skin. And usually I don't use creams. I usually use like a... Where is it in here? Okay, like this, for example, is the... This is from Philosophy. And this is like a... Like a clear-ish, you know what I mean? Or like, um, like the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer, like a gel type of thing because I have oily skin. But this stuff is so nice. It's, it's a thick, like, cream, but I swear it's like just enough. Like you put it on and it soaks into your skin like it is just the right amount. Like your skin needed every bit that you put on, you know what I mean? Like there's not extra, but it like soaks up all of it. But your skin doesn't look oily. It's like the perfect amount. Like it covers up any dryness. But it never looks oily. Like it just soaks into your skin perfectly. Like I love this stuff. It never makes my skin look oily. And I never look like I need more moisturizer either. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like the perfect happy medium. I love this stuff. Then, I've been loving wearing foundation lately. And not gonna lie. I feel like when I wear foundation, I just look like I took so much time on my makeup. Which, actually, honestly, when I wear foundation, I feel like foundation is by far the most time-consuming step of makeup. But I do feel like it makes me look like I spent double the amount of time on my makeup. So, these have been, like, the foundations I've been loving. Anyway, I'm sure you've heard these two mixed together is heaven. The L'Oreal Pro Matte and the Pro Glow. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, by the way. But... I've had the Pro Matte for a long time, and I love it. I have oily skin. But when you mix in the Pro Glow, this is just the perfect combination together. It makes your skin look perfect. Love it. Lasts all day, seriously. I think this has up to 24 hours. It seriously does. I don't 
think anyone should ever wear their makeup for 24 hours, but anyway, this does last all day. Then we have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. This is like a rediscovered favorite. I really like this stuff, but this is an 820 Creamy Natural, and it's like a little bit too dark for me. So I usually mix it with some sort of lighter foundation when I wear it, but... I really do want to get this in the right shade so I can wear it on its own because I love how this makes my skin look. This makes my skin look so flawless. Like, it just looks like I have no flaw on my face, no acne, no pimple, and I could be breaking out like crazy. And this just makes my skin look so nice no matter what. So, I really like this. And it's supposed to be a 3-in-1, like, lasting power of primer, coverage of concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one. And I really do love this stuff, though. Then also, last, and then I'm done with foundation. The Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. I freaking love this stuff. This is what I'm wearing today. Oh. No, nothing is working. Okay. Another anyway, I don't even care. This foundation is seriously awesome. I love it because it's like a squeezy tube, but it's a pump. First off, I love pump foundations. This is so easy in the morning. And then you can unscrew this and literally like squeeze out every last drop so you actually get all the product. You don't waste a bunch of it. I love this stuff, and I really like it because I'll put on a light layer of this, and this is the only foundation that I can put on fast. Any other foundation, there's no quick way to do it, but this foundation blends in really fast and easy. I can actually wear this and only add on like two minutes to my makeup routine instead of 8 to 12 with a normal foundation. I'm not even being dramatic. It takes me so much longer if I wear foundation to do my makeup. But the other thing I really like about this is I can put on a layer really fast, but I can layer this. And there's very few foundations that I can, you know, cover my face with foundation and put on another layer and it not look ridiculous. And this one, I can put on like three layers if I'm having, if my chin's breaking out, I can put three layers of foundation on my chin and it won't look cakey. Like, girl, I don't know how they do it, but I love this stuff. Okay. Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous love this powder love this this again is like a rediscovered thing I'm not someone that's really big into powders I have a powder I use it up and I buy a new one I'm not like oh my gosh I love trying out new powders but I do really really like this one I've been using this in the Maybelline fit me and it kind of made me realize that I like this one so much better like this powder is way better than the Maybelline fit me just saying. It made me realize that like there actually is a difference in powders because I've never been really into powder. But this one is way better than any one I've tried. Okay. What next? Um, I'm just like staring at this big bin of stuff. Okay. Definitely have to talk about this. I did show this in a haul video. I don't remember which one. But these NYX liquid highlighters. They're called Away We Glow. I got every single color because I was going to do a whole like video on these, which I never did. I suck. But this one is in Crystal Glare, and this one is my favorite. I freaking love these things. So they have this little applicator like this. And seriously, you guys, okay. Look at how blinding. And even when you blend it out, it's still blinding. Like, that's how blinding it is on your face. I'm not even being dramatic. It's like... It's crazy. You don't even have to, like, set this with a powder highlighter, like, which, I mean, most people do set creams with powders, but seriously, you can just put this on and wear it on its own, and it's not a subtle highlight blended out. Like, blended out, it is blinding, glow, liquid, dripping metal on your face. Like, this stuff is awesome. I love it. This, and then I usually use, I like to look like I bathed in highlighter and just look absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> And look absolutely ridiculous. So I put a powder over it. Maybelline. Can you tell I haven't filmed in a while? Max Soft and Gentle and my baby. It is really uh, dirty. But this Tardis Pro Glow, guys. This thing is awesome. Like, I love this stuff. I can't even lie. It really is worth the hype. This thing is amazing. I absolutely Love this palette. It has four powder highlighters and then a sculpt in a shape and this one, the, um, or sculpt in shade. The shade one is a cream. That's the darker one. And, oh my god, just look at it. Oh my god, I love this. This is amazing. It's seriously worth every single dollar. 
I have used this every single day for like months straight and you can't even tell. Like, I mean you can tell that it's, you know, had a brush dipped in it, but in no way is there even a dent let alone hitting pan on these. Like this thing is going to last you for freaking ever. Like girl, okay. Had to grab it, but the Tartlet in Bloom, I've been loving this thing, seriously. It's just, it's such a good palette, because you can buy this and create so many eye looks with it. The only thing is me personally, I only wear shimmery colors on my lid, and this is really the only color I will use on my lid, but I love this color so much that I will wear this on my lid with any of these eyeshadows and have a million different looks. I'm just saying though that this is the only color that I use as a lid shade in this palette but that's kind of just a me thing but anyway these are what the colors look like. I love this. They're all so blendable, all pigmented, none of them are bad. I really like this and I'm a shimmer girl. I love shimmery eyeshadows so I like this way better than the regular Tarlet one. I don't have that one. I'm just saying I wouldn't buy that one because I don't know. I like wearing shimmery colors on my lid. I don't like wearing matte eyeshadows on my lid, so for me, yes, I only use this one shimmer shade on my lid, but it's like that one shimmer shade is very, very needed. Okay, then, guys, I have used this to death. Like, it is officially dead. I officially have to get a new one. It's the CoverGirl eyeshadow in Champagne. Yes, that's the pan. Guys, look at it. Look at it. That is what's left. This little tiny thing over here. That's it. That is it. I've had this since 7th grade. I've had this eyeshadow for 5 years. Okay, that's actually ridiculous. I've had this for 5 years. And I've literally used this thing to absolute death as you can tell. This is the best inner corner highlight ever. No eyeshadow is better than this. I do not care if it costs a million dollars. This is better. Don't care. Five years and I haven't found an eyeshadow better for your inner corner. So, girl, if you like highlighting your inner corner, I don't care what thing. Like, oh, well, it's already in this palette I use. No. I will bring this everywhere. I will bring this with any eyeshadow palette. This is what I use for my inner corner highlight. All day, every day, always. Cover girl, champagne. Love it. It is like $3 and it'll last you five years. I'm kidding. You really shouldn't keep it that long. Probably shouldn't keep it more than like two years. But anyway, I've had this thing for five years and I'm obsessed with it. So it's finally time to get a new one. But seriously, I feel like I haven't talked about it in a long time. And five years later, I'm still using that thing every single day. Do not be fooled. So yeah. Okay. Two mascaras. I'm obsessed with mascara. It is like my favorite part of makeup. And my eyelashes, if I do say so, I think they look pretty. Um, so if they look bad, I'm sorry. But anyway, these babies. The freaking Too Faced Better Than Sex. I mean, girl, it's called Better Than Sex. So obviously they know that this mascara, if you try it, you're going to like it. I don't care who you are. This mascara is awesome. This is the waterproof version, and it has water droplets all over it, and it's kind of like the coolest thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. The wand doesn't look like anything special. It's just like a fat mascara wand. And the first time I used this mascara, like the original, the pink tube, just the regular one, like a year ago probably, I hated it. But seriously, buy this mascara. It's worth the $23. It is worth every single penny. Buy it and use it for a week, okay? I don't care if the first three days you think your eyelashes look terrible. Use it for a week. You have to learn how to use the mascara. You have to learn how to use the wand. You have to like, get used to the formula. Use it for a week. If you still hate it, you can rant about you hating the mascara. But use it for a week. And then decide if you like it or not. Because if you still hate it after a week, I don't know what the hell is going on with your eyelashes. But... Give it a week, okay? Give it a fair chance. Because the first time I used this, I hated it. And I was like, why does everyone like this mascara? Like, it's so bad. Everyone loves it. Girl, I love this mascara. Like, this is... I think I went through four tubes of the pink one. And this is my second one of the waterproof one. I love this stuff. I will never, ever, ever pick another mascara over this. This is my absolute number one forever mascara. But anyway... 
This is my new fave from the drugstore. I really like this one. It's the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. And I seriously really, really like this mascara. So it looks like this. I love layering this mascara. But this is a really good one if I lose this one, I can't find this one. Or, you know, I mean, I, I do switch it up some days. I always do wear this mascara, though. I'm not even going to lie. I wear this every day. I layer other mascaras. But I have this one on every day. But this is a really good mascara from the drugstore. I seriously really like this one. And I do recommend it a lot. My two other favorites are these Maybelline Lash Sensational and the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect. I don't know. I'll show you the wands really quick and then I'm going to go because I know this video is getting long. But, sorry my hands are really wrinkly. I'm really self-conscious about it. Don't talk about it. Okay. And then Dee's one. I like this wand a little bit better. But this one's more of a wet formula than this one. Anyway. Those are the best. Last thing I'm going to talk about. Okay. These TARDIS lip paints. These are my literal favorite lip product ever. 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 Favorite lip product ever. Guys. I totaled my car. <sighs> yeah. I'll do an update video. But I totaled my car. Anyway, these freaking TARDIS lip paints are the best lip product ever. This one is in Namaste. This one, TBT. And there's one other one that I'm obsessed with. But I have like three of them in my purse on my bed. I'm just too lazy to go get them. But they look like this. They're matte. I'm wearing two right now. I'm actually wearing these two little mini ones. Little like holiday collection that came with like eight or twelve little minis. I have like six of these minis in my purse too, but right now I'm wearing candy with a little bit of juicy. Because this was a little too brown for me, so I put just like literally a dot of this and then blended it. But that's what I'm wearing right now. I really like it if you were wondering. But the Tardis lip paints are my absolute favorite lip product. I kind of like discovered those around Christmas. They came in a holiday set. And they've been out for a while. I just feel like I haven't talked about them on my channel. And those are seriously my favorite lip products. Like, 90% of the time, that is what I'm wearing on my lips. I love them. They last forever. And they're amazing. And I really like them. So if you haven't tried them, I would go to Ulta, Sephora, whatever's closer to you. Find one color that you really, really like. It's your favorite. You'll wear it every day. It goes with a ton of makeup looks that you wear. And just invest in one. Just find one color that you will wear all the time. And buy that one. It'll last you a long time. And your lip color will be bomb every single day. It'll last you a while. Just invest in one. And you're set, girl. Okay? Just... I'm getting really dramatic right now. Anyway, I'm going to go. Guys, today I got home from treatment. So, like... <laughs> if you didn't watch my last video, just go watch it. Because you're going to be like, oh my god, what? But anyway... Literally, guys, in three hours, I ate McDonald's, Taco Bell, and KFC in three hours. I ate a double cheeseburger, a f like medium fry, a medium chocolate milkshake. Then I got the KFC um, combo, go large. So I got popcorn chicken, two sides of mac and cheese, a large Mountain Dew, and Taco Bell. I got beef soft taco, two cheese roll-ups, nachos, and <laughs> Baja Blast. As I ate this in three hours. Like McDonald's, KFC, and Taco Bell. I had to have all of them. I couldn't pick. They were all spaced out. Like I ate one and then the other and then the other. But like, girl, I was dying. I was so hungry. So, I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to clean my room because it looks really, really disgusting. But I hope you enjoyed. Sorry my room is a disaster. But you know, nobody's perfect. And if your room is messy, I'm not going to judge you either. It's okay. So, I love you guys. Leave a request down below. Um, but I love you guys a lot. You're all my best friends. I'm sorry I was gone, but I'm back now. So, I hope you guys were doing good. Sorry this video was really, really long. But, I just haven't filmed in like three months. So, I don't want to stop talking. Okay, I love you guys so much. You're all beautiful. And I literally love you more than life. Please subscribe. It'll make my heart so happy. I really want to get back into this YouTube thing. I love it. I just, I can't like stop doing it. I just, I can't. And I love it. And I love you guys. And hope you all have a great day. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. 
I love you. Bye.